School Choice Week is here and the goal is to spread awareness and make sure parents understand all educational options available to them. Valentina Bonaparte spoke to a family that decided a traditional classroom maybe wasn't the best fit for them. Valentina, why was that? Well, Sophia has medical reasons to show a traditional classroom is not the right option for her. But the good thing is she can choose where to go. And National School Choice Week is a reminder for many parents on how good it feels to have that freedom. Small Meet things. Sophia. This is what I normally draw. She's 11 years old, a great dancer. And I just really love dance. I feel like it's a part of me. Good student and has a condition exactly. most people would not be able to tell at first sight. Sophia had some health issues that are life or death. If she were to go into anaphylaxis, the epi doesn't work for her. That prevents her from being able to go to a traditional school. She's one of 3,500 students across the state going to Nevada Connections Academy, a virtual school designed for those with special educational needs. Their story is unique to them, but it's not necessarily unique to our school. During National School Choice, the goal was to reach one-of-a-kind kids like Sophia. Every family has different needs, and whether their child has medical needs, whether their child has learning disabilities, it's all up to the parents to make a good choice for their children. And to make sure having a choice continues to be an option. It is not like it's done in a traditional school, but we're definitely willing and wanting to come to the table to discuss that because we believe in what we do. Well, and it's important to mention that Nevada Connections Academy just received a notice, rec a notice recommending its closure. We are looking into the process for how the state decides if schools like Nevada Connections Academy will stay in operation. Covering the story, Valentina Bonaparte, 2 News. All right, Valentina.